Welcome to CATS Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 4.2. Now the question says assume that VO is equal to 1 volt then find the actual value of VO. Right? So in this case this circuit would actually give us the actual value of VO but we want to use the linearity property to find VO. So using a VO of one volt in this case, we can, let's just put this 30 volts aside for now and call it VS. So we have 30 volts, that is for actual value. So let's call this VS. To find a VO of this value, we'd have to do we have to combine these two sections and actually do so this this top node here is vs so to find vo we'd actually have to divide this this um so we can redraw this to let's say let's see let's see let's see so this is parallel to that to to the series combination of those two which means across these two so from that point to that point we also have vs so all the way from there to there we have vs to this bottom node here we have vs but this vs has to be split among these two because these two are in series and when you have uh resistors in series, they actually split or divide the current, um, sorry, the voltage, the current is the same. So we have Vs from that point to that point. So to find the Vo, which is specifically the voltage, which is across the eight ohm resistor, we are gonna say Vs multiplied by the eight and eight plus 12 to divide the voltage between these two. And this is to find the voltage VO, which is across the eight, right? So this is basically how you'd find the voltage VO, right? So we'd just do this using this 30 volts, but we want to use the linearity property. And so we are given a value of VO, which is in this case one. So we're given one on this side and we're asked to find the actual value if this Vs is 30. So let's just quickly substitute the 30 here. So this is the method we'd use if we weren't using the linearity property. And the purpose, I believe the purpose of this problem was to simply familiarize yourself with the linearity property because you could have just simply solved it using this method, which I'm, I'm currently showing you. So using this simple method, your answer to VO or your actual VO would be 12 volts. So now let's see if we use the linearity property, if we'll get the same answer. So we have one, which is our assumption given in the question. So we have one. So we now want to find divided by eight plus 12, which is 20. So we now want to find what VS would be in this case. So we can actually find the relationship between the input and the output. So assuming that our output is VO and our input is Vs. So we assume that um, VO is one volt. So what is the Vs when we have VO as one volt? So let's do that quickly. So our Vs would therefore be equals to 20 divided by eight, right? So that would be our Vs. So our input would be 20 over eight to give us a value of one volt as VO. So now, we are given 30 volts as our Vs, which was here in the question. We're given that 30 volts. So this is our Vs column, or this is our input column of Vs. So if we have 30, then what is the value of our Vo? That is what the question is asking for. So we're gonna do proportion and say 30 multiplied by one divided by 20 over eight, and doing quick math, quick math, 30 multiplied by eight divided by 20. This is, um, this gives you 24, 240. So this is 240 divided by 20, cancel, cancel. And that is 12 volts, which is exactly the same answer using the method which we've been using before of voltage division. So this is how you do it using the linearity property.